Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, we're going to finish creating our HTML glossary. Now, where we left off in the previous video was we rigged it so that a user can click on a letter, for instance, letter C here, and instantly be taken to that section of their glossary for those terms. Now, something we definitely want to do on our glossary is we always want to give the user the ability to click a button and scroll up to the top. Now, all that, that's got a neat little disappearing effect. You can't see that down there. But we'll fix that up, and we want to do something similar where we have a way to, to move back up to the top, get back to that list of letters. So let's take care of that on our end, too. I think what I'm going to do is create a hyperlink right up here at the very top, and I'm going to position it so it displays at the bottom. And let's see, we can put it right up here. Here we go. Anchor href equals top. So at some point, I'm going to need something with id equals top. I'm going to give this a class too, and I will call it just my top link, and we'll just say back to top. Let's make sure I don't have an extra quotation mark there. Okay, now that's not going to look very impressive from the default. It's just a standard hyperlink. But let's go ahead and make this look like a button. This is my top link, a.top link, and let's see, background color. Let's do something a little bit brighter, brightish yellow. That's red. 990. That'll be a kind of an old gold color there. And uh, font color of black. And padding of 12 pixels. That's going to make it look more like a button. There it is, right up there. However, I want it to be down at the bottom right. So I have to get rid of my picture. And Let's do something like position fixed bottom 2m right 2m. There we go. So now I've got that back to top there. I'm going to make this a brighter yellow. How about EE0? So now I need a place that has ID equals top. So when somebody clicks this button, it's going to go automatically to the top. Don't worry about that little mistake. Our next fix is going to take care of that. So let's see. I will go to, I can do this for the article. It's not a bad way to go. ID equals top. And just doing that is going to help because now when somebody clicks on this hyperlink, ahref top, actually that needs to be ahref hashtag top, refresh, and there we go. We're back up at the top. I can click on letter C. That's going to take me to the first term that begins with a letter C. Click on back to top, move that up there. We're going to do one more thing and be done with this one. On my editor, I'd like this to be smoother. You might notice it here. When I click on the arrow to the top, notice how it smooth scrolls up. Now, they don't have it so that it smooth scrolls down, but we can do that pretty easily. Let's see, I will do this. You know what, this is gonna be just a little short line of JavaScript. I'm gonna do it right here in the body of the page. On load. So basically when the web page loads, I'm gonna to go to my document and get the document element. Okay, the document element is just the root of the web page. Dot style dot scroll behavior equals single quote smooth single quote and then I have double quotes on here because I'm doing this as an inline JavaScript not the most pro way to go but this is what we call in the business good enough so on load I'm gonna apply the smooth scrolling behavior to the root of my document that should be enough and this script is going to trigger or get invoked on load so I think I'm all saved up let's refresh and see how it goes so in fact, let's do a hard refresh. I'm going to click on the letter C, and I scroll on down to the top section of C's. When I click on the button back to top, I smooth scroll up, back up to the top where I can access more letters. So don't forget, the key to getting all of these letters to work, you know, we've got all these hyper references in here for A, B, C, D, and so forth. At some point, you do need to plug in ID equals C for the first term that starts with that letter. If you didn't want to apply this ID to the actual DT tag, I've seen people do this before, you could throw in something like a little empty paragraph right up here. 
and apply it to a paragraph just before the term. And that could be kind of nice too, because then the text won't be butted up right up here at the top. Let's see if we can notice that. So now when I click on C, there we go. The first C term is not right up on the top edge. I actually kind of like that method better. So you can hyperlink to that specific target on your web page. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out with me.